Welcome back to Restore Thrive, Dr. Patrick here. Today we're gonna to talk about tight hamstrings. Do you or somebody that you know have either acutely tight hamstrings, meaning you just did a bunch of deadlifts yesterday and now your hamstrings are on fire, or do you have chronically tight hamstrings, meaning your hamstrings are tight all the time and you stretch and you stretch and you stretch and nothing actually helps that? Well, we got some things that you can work on either way, whether you, you have that acute tightness or chronic tightness, We'll give you a few tips over the next couple of weeks um, and see if, if going through these will help you um, decrease your, your stiffness in your hamstring. So the first thing that any good physical therapist is going to do is going to test to see where are you at right now and what are we doing to get better. So the test that I always like to do is, is a functional test um, and, and it's more based on, on feel and subjectivity, but it's a good visual representation. So it's a simple hinge pattern, a simple RDL or good morning, um, whatever terminology you like to use you're gonna put your hands on your hips to start you're gonna make sure that your feet are below your hips and a little bit of bend in the knees now pay attention I don't want your knees to slide forward I don't want your knees to lock out keep your knees in a fixed position as you drive those hips back and you're gonna base this on feel whenever you start to feel your hamstrings get tight so right at this point I feel my hamstrings get tight I feel like I could go further but what you notice is my back is probably bending over more than actually my hips going back. So I'm going to show you that one more time. A little bit of bend in the knees. We're going to drive those hips back. And whenever I notice my hamstrings tighten right there, that's as far as I have with my posterior hip mobility and hamstrings. So what are we going to do this week to work on that? We're going to stretch, right? No, we're not going to stretch. What we're actually going to do is we're going to move the nerves. We're gonna see if doing some nerve sliding, some nerve gliding will actually help us increase our range of motion. So um, in previous videos, we've talked about a hamstring slider. It's a great video. If you haven't seen it, dig through YouTube, check it out. Uh, this one's going to be similar, but slightly different. This one, we're going to work on sliding the nerve throughout the leg. So all you need to do is find a place that you can lay down. I've got this handy table set up here. If you don't have a table with you, the floor works just fine for this. So I'm going to lay down on my back and I'm just going to make sure that I'm in a good neutral spine position. So my head's flat on the table. I'm rested here. Everything's relaxed. Nothing should be tense. I'm going to do this on my left leg first because it's closest to you guys. So I'm just going to keep my leg in a fixed position, trying to be at about a 90 degree angle. The most important thing is there is no tension. So I'm not feeling any hamstring stretch. I'm not feeling any tightness in my glute, in my back, or my calf. And from here, I'm going to very slowly and methodically raise my leg up until I start to feel a stretch. Notice that I said start to feel a stretch. I'm not just going to bust through and be like, oh yeah, it's a stretch, because of course it's a stretch. So you're just going to go nice and slow. I start to feel a stretch right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate movement at the ankle. And what this does is this just pulls the nerve through my calf, through my hamstring, through my glute, all the way up to my spinal cord, just gently slides it within the sheath that's underneath or in between those muscles. Notice that my hamstring length isn't changing one bit whatsoever, and I'm just gonna do this somewhere between 30 and 60 reps. So a large number of reps, I shouldn't feel any pain, I shouldn't feel anything other than maybe the, my, my anterior and posterior uh, you know, uh, ankle muscles working really. That's the only thing that I should feel while I'm doing this. So we'll just sit here and kind of chat for a little bit while, while I do 30 reps, got a few more and calf's starting to get sore. So I know I'm, I'm doing it right, but again, I don't feel anything in the hamstring and then we relax. All right. So after you've done that, again, you should feel nothing has changed in the hamstring. Give yourself a little bit of rest. Go back for the second set. And when you go back for the second set, you guys at home might be able to see better whenever I start to feel a stretch right about there. So I know I can't see from the side, but I know I see a whole lot more in my sock. So I know that my hamstring feels looser, but I didn't even stretch it at all. All I did was glide that nerve through the sheath, through the muscles, just like this for 30 reps. Right, I'm gonna cut myself a little bit short on that one there. 
but notice how I didn't actually stretch the hamstring whatsoever. I would do the same thing on the opposite side for time's sake. Let's just see if my left side has gotten a little bit looser functionally. So again, I'm going to get back in my good setup position. I'm going to drive my hips back. I certainly feel my right hamstring. I don't even feel my left. You guys at home might be able to tell me if I've gone further or not. Um, but I want you to give this one a try at home. Let me know what you think. See if you can get your hamstrings to feel a little bit less tight, whether you did deadlifts yesterday or if they're tight all the time without even stretching them. Try this uh, sciatic nerve, hamstring slider, whatever you want to call it. All you're moving is the ankle. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. If you have questions, comment below. We'll respond back to you or email us at info at restorethrive.com. Check us out at restorethrive.com. Um, let us know what you think. Uh, yeah, stretch those hamstrings out or don't stretch them out. <laughs>